Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to build the Jetson TX1 kernel on the NVIDIA Jetson TX1 development kit. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is download the build Jetson TX1 kernel repository from the Jetson Hacks GitHub accounts. Let's go grab that address. Gets clone. Then we'll switch over to that directory. This is a three step process. The first thing that we're going to do is get the kernel sources and configure the kernel. The next thing we're going to do is patch up the kernel and build it. And then we are going to copy it over to the boot directory. First, let's get the kernel sources. Dot get kernel sources dot sh. This is on a freshly flashed 24.2 version of L4T. Once the kernel sources have been downloaded and expanded, we can edit the kernel configuration. Let's go to general setup, local version. On a stock L4T 24.2 kernel, the local version is dash Tegra. I'm going to change that to JetsonBot. Version 0.1. This is also the time that you would go in and change any of the kernel settings that you want to change. One I want to change is One of the USB settings I want to change is to add this CH341 driver in. So I will mark that as a module. So this little circle means. Save the configuration. And close the configuration editor. The kernel sources are stored in slash user slash source src they're in this kernel folder okay step two is to patch and build the kernel this will apply a patch to the kernel which allows it to compile and also add in a couple of 32-bit compiled object files. Patch and build kernel.sh. Okay, the kernel has been built. We've also built up all the modules and installed them. Let's take a look at that. Here are the stock modules. Here are the new ones. Let's copy our images over to the boot directory.
So you can see that we've copied over both the image and the Z image. Let's also note here that the kernel directory is fairly large, so you may want to squirrel it away on a USB stick or a SSD drive. So it's around three gigabytes, which you should be able to save and only use it when you are compiling a kernel. So let's reboot this baby. Moment of truth. And we have a desktop, so that's a good sign. You can see that we have the Jetson Bots kernel installed now. Thanks for watching.